think back to when it happened the first time. Did it serve you to be constantly on your phone checking stuff? Was it actually serving your highest and best good? We're feeling all the feelings of that sacral and root chakra fear response being triggered again, right? So now everyone's like, oh, are we going to go into lockdown again? Oh, is everything going to shut down again? Mm, am I going to lose my job? You know what I mean? It's like all of that fear response is being triggered again. And, and you know, what's happening um, is you can feel in the collective consciousness that internet use has gone back up again. Um, so I don't know if, if you guys recall this feeling, but there was so much EMF radiation on this planet during while this was happening because everyone was on their phones all the time. Everyone was on all their devices all the time, checking the news, like obsessively checking, checking, checking what's happening, how many cases, you know, where's who's shutting down, what's going on, like what's the government saying, what's the response time. Like everyone was pushed into this frantic, like, you know, just, we have to know, we have to know, we have to know. And so we had like, you know, that in and of itself was really taxing on our physical bodies um, and on our energy bodies as well. And so that's happening again, like that's starting to ramp up again. So we're starting to feel that in the collective. So one of the things I really wanna encourage you to do this go round, and I know that this is difficult because I know that like as be human beings, we wanna know what's happening. But here's the thing, like think back to when it happened the first time. Did it serve you to be constantly on your phone checking stuff? Was it actually serving your highest and best good? Or was it just making you more agitated more anxious, more worried, more confused because no one was getting straight information on what was going on intentionally, right? So I just ask you, like I'm just, I'm asking you to really carefully consider how you follow this next phase of the fear pandemic because we get a choice right now. So we have a choice of playing into it and allowing the programming and conditioning to do its job and allowing it to get us upset, allowing it to get us flustered, allowing it to get us all riled up, or we get to actually take this for what it is, which I don't think we fully know. Um, if I had to hedge my bets, I would bet that this was man-made. Um, and intentionally released um, and but we don't know right we don't know what we do know is there's a virus what we do know is that there's a virus and that it kill it was killing people and that we had misinformation about ventilators that was making it worse um, and and the other thing that we know is a lot of people are getting this majority of people I mean you know in the 99th percentile are getting this and recovering um, and that it's a horrible sickness and that people who are elderly and suffering from other medical conditions are passing away. And that's very sad, but that also happens every year with the flu. Um, and so I just, I'm asking that we really put this in perspective because the power play, the power grab that's happening here is that fear is being triggered and used to get us to an emotionally charged place so that we're easier to control and manipulate. And if we take that power away from them and we choose not to get ourselves into an emotional frenzy, we choose not to get ourselves into a panic, we choose not to be obsessively checking the media outlets and news and internet to see you know, how many new cases there are in our county and. Um, or in our country or in our city or in our town or you know how many people died today globally like if we just step away from that for a moment and focus on what's really important which I believe is our health and our immunity and building our immune systems and getting outside and getting some vitamin D even if it's just having to stand in your backyard or on your front porch if you're in lockdown but 
instead of focusing on the fear side of this, focusing on what we can do to move through this as a collective.